Hey Zach, just doing something on uh, you know Cam Atkinson as a, a penalty killer. Um, you know when you're out there with him, uh, in particular, are you guys kind of always head on the swivel to see if he's you know ready to run a route shorthanded and you know get a breakaway? Um, yeah, I mean I feel like with Cam, he gets a lot of his chances just off anticipating plays. Um, he's so good at reading what the, what the other team's gonna do. He kind of sniffs out those high reverses. Um, he's great on the four check on, on the penalty kill. Um, you know, I think he's just, he's so quick and I think he can just read other players, uh, so well on the penalty kill uh, and he creates a lot of chances that way. Um, so yeah, he's obviously been a huge part scoring four short handed goals in a season or in, you know, 24 games is pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, you know, when you look across the league, I mean, outside of centers, there's a lot of top six centers who are on the penalty kill, obviously, for you know reasons for winning draws and stuff, but not a ton uh, out there who are wingers, you know, who are scoring top six guys. What does it say about Cam that he not only goes out there, but he, he, he seems like he's pretty eager to get out there? Shortly. Yeah, I mean, I think he takes a lot of pride in it. Um, you know, our penalty kill for the last number of seasons has been really good. It's kind of dipped lately. Um, but I think Cam's a guy that, um, you know, knows he can have, has success on the, on the penalty kill and he wants to go over the, over the boards and help the team win in any way he can. And, um, you know, whether it's scoring a shorthanded goal or just getting the puck down 200 feet, um, you know, I think he takes a lot of, a lot of pride in that. That's all I got. Thank you. Next we'll go to Dave Metzl. Go ahead, Metzl. Thanks, Todd. Hi, Z. Um, the other night, you and Seth seemed to be working well together. Uh, I go back to that last Chicago game at Nationwide, too, where you hit him with a pass. Or, and and things, like the, things like that that indicate that your chemistry might be coming. I wonder where you would place it right now compared with when you guys are playing at your best. Yeah, I think last game took a step in the right direction. Um, you know, I think our team had a better game last game. I think we we're making more plays. Um, you know, I think me and Seth, we just felt better skating. We talked about that before the game. We wanted to skate a little bit more. Um, you know, I think when we're at our best, we're moving our feet and we're kind of jumping up in the play and, um, you know, carrying the puck whenever we can. I feel like we did that last game and uh, just got to keep building on it. As a pairing, we talk so much about you guys as the engine. Do you, do you guys feel that responsibility and do you want to grab hold of that? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think when me and Seth are going and pushing the play, um, you know, our, our team's kind of, you know, going as well. Um, whenever we can jump up in the play, it creates more offense for our team. And then obviously when we're playing good defensively, uh, it seems that we have the puck more to, you know, to go play offense. So, um, it's something we haven't done enough this year. I think we can definitely do it more, but I think the last game was a step in the right direction. Uh, and is the between the legs shot now permanently in your tool bag? Uh, I don't know. I mean... Like I said, it was kind of at the moment. I felt like it's all I had, um, but you never know. I mean, I guess I guess we'll have to wait and see. Did you go back and look at it at all? Yeah, I watched it. Um, someone tagged me on Instagram on it. It's kind of a weird play. I don't even know what I was doing, but um, I don't know. It is what it is. All right, we'll wait for the next one. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Jeff Silvota. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, thanks, Todd. Uh, Mets kind of took my questions there, so I'll, I'll go at it from this direction. Um, you, when you find yourself in that spot where, I mean, you, you're right in tight with the net there when you're making that play, when you're trying to score between your legs. Is that a good sign, though, for your game? Is that when you find yourself in positions like that, that that shows that you are skating, you are moving, you are putting yourself in offensive positions to, to kind of create things like that? Yeah, 100%. I think for me, when I get to those scoring areas, um, you know, it's a good, it's a good sign that now I'm moving my feet. I'm jumping up in the play. I'm being aggressive. Um, you know, I feel like the first, you know, 10, 12 games of the season, I really wasn't getting to those scoring areas at all. Um, so for me, like I said, it's, it's a step in the right direction. I can keep building on it. I can definitely be, be better moving forward. Um, but I think that's kind of a, an indicator of how I have to play is just being aggressive, jumping up in the play and getting to those areas. Yeah, and you you mentioned a couple times your first maybe ten or twelve games you kind of felt like you were you were struggling a bit to kind of find it, and then you got hurt. Obviously, uh, has this year been a little bit frustrating? Just from you know, a year ago, it just seemed like everything went right for you. You scored twenty goals. I mean, the puck was on your stick all the time. This year has been a little bit different. Has it been frustrating? And can you kind of learn from that? At just you know how to handle those types of ups and downs as you go through a season? 
Um, yeah, I mean, I think the only thing that's been frustrating is the injuries. Um, you know, I think struggles are going to happen. You can't get frustrated by those. Obviously, you have to work your way out of them. Um, that happens for all players. Uh, so I, I didn't get frustrated by that. I was just, you know, working my hardest to try and get out of it. Um, but I think injury is the, the most frustrating thing. You know, you, you have a, a long off season, a weird off season. You get so excited to play, and then, um, you know, 10 games in, you miss you know, seven games or whatever, however many games I missed. Uh, in a shortened season, that's a lot of games. So that was frustrating. It's always tough watching, but, um, I mean, you can always, I guess, learn from, from you know, bad times and injuries and whatnot. And, um, just, you know, just got to learn from all. Thanks, Z. Appreciate it. Next, we're going to Owen Newkirk. Go ahead, Owen. Thank you, Todd. Zach, uh, I was talking to our defenseman, Jamie Alexiak, a few days ago about facing Victor Hedman when we were playing Tampa. And he said that he doesn't necessarily get super excited about facing a, uh, an elite defenseman because he doesn't see him that much. He's more thinking about matchups with forwards for that particular team. Is that similar for you? Do you get more geared up to go head to head with other teams for groups than say like the stars with Klingberg, Haskin and Lindell, et cetera. Yeah. I mean, I think as defensemen, you just see the forwards more um, in terms of like lining up for faceoffs with them. Um, most of the guys closest to the net. So that's kind of who you're worried about. Um, but we know a team like Dallas, a team like Tampa, we know that all their D are coming and joining the play and jumping up in the play. Um, that's something you just know with these teams. That's kind of a, what they do. And it, it makes it that much harder to defend uh, when you have a defenseman like Hedman or, you know, Heiskanen or Klingberg jumping up in the play. Um, but as defensemen, I think we get more excited to, you know, play against top forwards just because that's who we see most of the game. And then lastly, for me, just the impression you have when you get ready to face Dallas and the forwards, what – the, the style that Dallas plays, if from your perspective, what do you have to be ready for? Uh, I think we have to be, you know, ready for a fast team, a hardworking team. Um, you know, they can score in many ways, you know, whether it's standing net front and, and tipping pucks in or making plays. So we just have to be sharp in all areas of our game. It's a good hockey team. Um, like I said, it's a fast hockey team and a hardworking team. So we have to, we have to come this weekend and, and we have to be ready to work.